What's up, everyone? It's Q from Retro Q Game, and, and this video doesn't really doesn't really surprise me. But earlier on in the year, Treyarch, who are making this year's installment of Call of Duty, which is Call of Duty Three Black Ops, announced that the game would only release on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. So when they announced it, there would be no version for the Xbox 360, no version for the PS3, and no version for the Wii U. So Activision have now changed that, and as of today, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 will be coming to the Xbox 360 and the PS3, as well as the Xbox One, PS4, and PC. They all come out on the same day, which is going to be in November, so that's not going to be... None of that has changed. It's going to be November 6th for every every version. And here's what Activision had to say about it anyways. So Activision put out a statement and what they had to say it was, we know there are still some fans that haven't made the transition to the new console hardware. Xbox 360 and PS3 versions of Call of Duty for Black Ops 3 however, will be available this November. However, the experience will be slightly scaled back with two-player campaign co-op rather than four-player, and some features designed specifically for Xbox One and PS4 won't make the cut. There will also be some features and functionality built specifically for the next generation of consoles that cannot be supported on Xbox 360 and PS3. We'll be sharing more information regarding feature differences from one console generation to another later this year as launch on November 6th approaches. So, that's that's basically it. Um, it's Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is now officially coming to Xbox 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. So there's gonna there's still no word on no announcement of a Wii U version. I don't expect to see an announcement of a Wii U version or just a Wii U version at all. But it's kind of it's kind of curious at the same time that they'd actually bother with this. Uh, I I realize why they were announced separately so that they could originally build up hype on day one. It's like next generation Call of Duty only and then just a couple of while later it's like, well, you know, we're going to put them out on the the previous consoles. One thing that's also worth noting as well is that since Treyarch are making the Xbox One, PS4, and PC version of Black Ops 3, they will not be handling development for the Xbox 360 and PS3 ports. Now, the, I, it doesn't specifically say which studio is making which copy, but the studio, the, there's two studios involved, and one of them is Beanox, who make a bunch of Spidey, Spider-Man games. I was going to say Spidey games. <laughs> And the people who make Black Ops Declassified, which are Mercenary Technologies. Now, chances are maybe Mercenary Technologies will be making a PlayStation version because, I don't know, they've worked with Sony before. So, we'll see how it goes anyway. So, uh, the game will be out on all five platforms on November 6th. But, I'm, I'm just a little bit surprised, in a way. I mean, I know on, on PC that... The, the minimum requirements, at least, for Black Ops 3 on PC, they are very similar to Xbox One and PS4 hardware. Uh, specifically, that it's a 64-bit operating system only. Uh, as we know, the Xbox One and PS4 are very similar to PCs, and they, in, in the sense that they use um, standard 64-bit, well, it's X, x86, x64, whatever way you want to look at it, bit hardware versus the Xbox 360, which, if I remember right, uses a, a power PC build. And at the same time, you have the PS3, which uses the dire cell processor, which has its own version of OpenGL to just fuck around with, and it becomes a nightmare for everyone else. Anyway, we'll see how it works, because it seems to be developed for the current gen and then port it backwards that's how it seems that i could be wrong we'll see how it goes especially uh scalability and what could potentially be holding the current gen and pc version of the game back one thing that's also uh, worth mentioning here is that they're most likely using an updated version of the same engine which is never a good thing in in this case the call of duty engine is what ID, ID Tech, ID Tech Three? I think at this point it's it's been so long. I don't even think it's ID Tech Five. 
uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's ID Tech 3, and that's so old and so heavily modified, it's just extremely inefficient at this point. And I know they're not going to want to just switch out to a new engine, but if they did, it would extremely, extremely benefit stuff. But we'll see next year when ID Tech 6 is probably going to be announced and released this E3 at Bethesda's conference anyway. Or so we'd hope anyway, fingers crossed. But we'll see how that goes anyway, that's less than a week away. So let me know in the comments section below if you think Call of Duty coming out on the previous generation of consoles is a good thing, if you think it's a bad thing, if you think it's going to affect development or hold anything back for the current gen and PC releases, let me know all that in the comment section below anyway. So other than that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, you can follow me on Twitter because I got a new series started on there, details in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the rest of the videos in my channel.